Hey, what's happening, guys? What I've got here for you is a nice little voltage standard, and it is based on this IC here. This is the AD584 from Analog Devices, and it is a very stable voltage reference, temperature controlled, very nice, very nice indeed. So if you need to check the accuracy of your multimeter, or if you're one of those people who have many, many multimeters, a board like this is excellent. Now I got this one off of eBay for about $5, shipped from, you know, One Hung Lowland. And uh, this will do you up real nice. Now you can see here, it looks like it wants a battery, and it does. But it wants some strange 15 volt battery that is pointless to get. It's got a 2.1 barrel jack. You know, you feed in 12 to 15 volts and she'll be right. Nice little LED there that shows you the powers on. And to switch between the voltages, all you have to do are move these little jumper connections to right where you want. So let me uh, give you a small example of it in operation. All right, this little guy here, the peak meter, this is just about the, well, no, it's not just about, it is the cheapest meter that I own. I think I paid like $10 for this meter. So if we turn it on, how well you guys can see that there. Yeah. Huh. Maybe that's just too much of an angle. I'm just trying to get a little angle so you don't see the reflection of my LEDs there in the back. Alright, there we go. Okay. So you see we're jumpered here on the 2.5 volts. And she's showing 2.5 volts there. We'll switch her off. Move it up to 5 volts. And you get an idea of how simple this thing is to work. Now, we can bring this out of the way here. And you can see that it actually has two different ways you can hook your probes into it. These are sized so that probes fit right into those little holes just like that that works out very nicely and then you also have these rings here that you can put your probes in or they work even better for clamping on some alligator clips but either way they work just fine so why would you want something like this? Well, like I said, if you want to see how accurate a particular multimeter is, or if you have many multimeters that you want to characterize and find out which one is the most accurate, let me give you an example of that. So here you can see my current selection of handheld multimeters, the Mass Tech, the Peak Meter, the O1, and the Anang. And then let me see if I can uh, move a couple things around here. I tell, I tell you what, we're probably going to have to go handheld. So pardon the jumpiness for a second. And then there's also the bench meter. So if you've got a large number of meters that you use for different purposes, um, and you want to characterize and find out which ones are the most accurate. You know, using a board like this for the voltage part of it 
is an excellent choice. It's very low cost, and you know that it is a solid source of a standard voltage. So what I did, and I'm not going to make you watch me do this, I've already done it, is I've taken all of my meters and I ran them through all of the voltages and I worked out their accuracies. So we have the Centec, the Peak, the O1, the Aning, and the Unity. And on top here, you can see how they read with all the voltages. For instance, the Centec is the lowest accuracy of them all. On 2.5, it read 2.491. On 5, it read 4.98. On 7.5, it read 7.46. And on 10, it read 9.96. So I got the error from each of them, added them up, divided so that we got an average. And you can see we have an average here of 0 0.004, or almost a half a percent. Now, the two or the three most accurate meters are the Anang, the Unity, and the Peak meter and they're averaging all out at 0.1 percent so that is excellent I'm not going to take you through the math I'm not going to make you watch me do it all again but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how something like this works so you can know which of your meters is the most accurate and if you have a number of meters one will be probably be more accurate on voltage or another will be more accurate with resistance Another may be more accurate with current. So you will need a standard for each one of those and able to characterize your meters. But again, like I said, this is just to give you a simple idea of how you can go about doing this if you're a person somewhat like me who can't stop buying multimeters. I've got one more coming. It should be here next week. And hopefully... Um, I'll be done buying them at least until, I don't know, Halloween? Unless I see another one, new one out there that strikes my fancy? I don't know. They're like, they're like function generators, multimeters and function generators. I just can't stop. Thank God I'm not married anymore. Or believe me, it would have stopped. All right, that's it. I'm done babbling. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.